All right, this is an update on my uh, non-stop running devices after two years. And um, I started this experiment back in August of 2017, and now it's uh, 2019. And this is the basic circuit that I've been running uh, a number of these things on. It's a complementary transistor circuit. Um, Sear capacitor on this uh, laser saber easy spin. Uh, I had to change it. It was a 10 fared uh, 2.7 volt. Uh, it was too much voltage and it, it uh, was bulging and finally one of the little leads popped out. So I went to a um, pair of um, 6 farad 2.7 volts um, in series and that did the trick. That's about a 4 volt uh, solar panel um, it has a blocking diode on the panel so it doesn't drain backwards at night but this is the most successful one it is a laser saber easy spin with that circuit on it and um, the um, circuit is just a dead bug what they call a dead bug uh, arrangement uh, but that's been running uh, for two years it runs around the clock 24 7 uh, summer winter fall um, the only time uh, it ever was uh, stopped was when I changed the supercapacitor. But uh, what's been interesting on this uh, experiment here is it's gaining speed. And this was one of my dreams years and years ago was to have a, a non-stop running device that actually started uh, gaining speed. And that one has done it. Uh, it's, of course, summertime. Uh, in the winter, when it gets cloudy, that's probably going to slow down, but it runs around the clock. Uh, here's another one that I finally got to run all the time. Uh, I had to fiddle around with the bearings, and you can see I put a, a penny on the bottom, and uh, that solved the problem with good lubrication, and finally got that one to run nonstop all the time. Now, that's got a couple of AAAs um, on it, uh, 3 volts. Um, because the amp draw is so low on these, uh, it should run for years, but we'll check it out. Here's another one, same circuit, um, different kind of coil. Um, had it running on uh, supercapacitors and a rechargeable battery. Finally just went to uh, 3 volts uh, with the uh, alkaline. Here again, the amp draws into microamps, so um, the runtime will be years if you don't have a problem someplace uh, else. Now, the bearing system on this one is there's a brass plate under there that these magnets are holding the needle up and it's just held in place at the bottom uh, with an air gap to another uh, magnet but the bearing surface is up like this and this is uh, finally stopped stopping <laughs> it's been running all the time this is one of the light projects that I've had going for many many years runs around the clock that's the penny oscillator with the uh, solar panel on it and that's my, uh, you can't see it, but that's the rechargeable stainless steel and Epsom salts uh, rechargeable battery. Here is that one that was just a solar waver with a battery and a dropping resistor in parallel to the panel. And there's some other ones of my experiments. Now going over here, this is another one that might be interesting as people, I guess about a year or so ago. I started this project it was called the yearling and the idea was to make a motor that ran for a year on a AAA battery and it kept stopping and it kept stopping for a number of reasons and finally I, I got it to stop stopping by stabilizing the the drive unit was uh, moving around on it and when I finally put those rubber bands on that thing for some reason I got this to stop stopping and that's um, tempered glass with a needle running on the tempered glass, a uh, glass bead for the upper bearing. And anyway, that's the update on my non-stop running devices um, after a two-year run on this uh, project. Thanks for watching.